नमस्ते हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू शैल गुलहाटी शिवा एंड मिस्टिसिज्म फॉर अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ मंडे विद महादेव आई हैव येट अनदर पिक्चर फ्रॉम फेसबुक व्हिच आई वांट टू शेयर विद यू एंड टॉक टू यू अबाउट इट आई सॉ दिस वन विद शिवा सीटेड इन व्हाट अपीयर्स टू बी अ सर्कल ऑफ फायर and yet below him it seems ice cold water is going on to a shivli and he seated calmly like a master so this picture evoked a very different feeling in me how can he be so calm when there is fire all around him how can he be seated coolly in dhyana and meditation when there is fire all around him and this art is somewhat like the symbolism of the nataraja if you have seen the statue of shiva nataraja carefully you will see in its outer periphery that there is a great fire that envelops shiva and despite this fire he is dancing this picture of course evoked the same feelings that there is a great fire around shiva and yet he is seated calmly meditatively like a great master who is somehow in control of his own emotion of his own feeling and the outer fire does not seem to affect him or disturb him and in fact where this departs from the nitraja image is that below shiva let's say if he is on a peak and the world is below him there seems to be a cascade a fantastic waterfall of cool water which is going down onto a shivling and that's what we do to shivlings in the mandirs in the temples we put cold water on them and they keep cool and calm so what did this imply what did this artist mean to symbolize with this art i started thinking and how does this apply to us well we live in a world where sometimes things are on such a fast track that our known world seems to be going up in flames you know when relationships start stalling when the money starts waning when the business is not doing good when you're growing older and you're not keeping good health when people start showing their real colors and they ditch you when falsities and lies reign when values are getting eroded and corroded when what you were brought up with doesn't hold good anymore we actually feel as though the world we knew our world is going up in flame what do we do about it this painting seems to suggest that that is the time when we need to be very calm when we need to be seated firmly in our dhyana in our meditation of our ishta mahadev what would he do in such circumstances well one of the sutras which i have spoken to you about earlier is vismay yog bhumika vismay is bewilderment and yog bhumika is the station for the platform for so shiva seems to suggest that bewilderment amazement surprise or then shock a sudden change a sudden switch in your circumstance or then a shift in your core values from the people who are around you that can bewilder you but that bewilderment can be a very good place to do your yoga in the mahabharata in the great battle krishna and arjun 
roll into the battle together. Krishna is his charioteer. And when Arjun sees on the other side of the battleground his own family, his uncles, his cousins, his teachers, his buddies, although he is a very, very powerful warrior, Arjun suddenly feels very nervous. He has a nervous breakdown. And he turns to Krishna and tells him, my legs are shaking. I am not manly enough. I cannot fight with my own kin. I cannot lift my bow and arrow. I cannot fight. And at that time, Krishna shows him his Virat Rupa. He shows him the transcendent truth, the changeless truth. Basically, Krishna shows him his Virat Rupa, which is his cosmic form, and Arjun sees in that form the entire battle is within. Arjun is within, Yudhishthir is within, Duryodhan is within, all the uncles, all the friends, all the teachers are all within that transcendent truth, which is Krishna. So this is the moment of realization. But Krishna is able to convey the exact meaning to Arjun at that point because Arjun is already under a visme, a bewilderment, the bewilderment of having to fight his own family. So he's ripe to learn the transcendent truth. Krishna says to him something very beautiful which has always been interpreted as whenever the dharma declines and Adharma, the evil reigns, then I shall come to set things in order or to restore order. While this is true, it should be taken very personally as well. Whenever the world that we know in, whatever has been our dharma in the sense of what is right, when that collapses, when our private world collapses, that is the time when the transcendent truth, the never-changing truth, can actually dawn on us. So that was the right time for Lord Krishna to tell Arjun about what divinity is. So similarly, Shiva teaches in the Siva Sutras, Vismaya Yog Bhumika. Actually, the sutra means that the stations of yoga are wonderful. And he is actually referring to how a yogi who is at first not aware of his own divinity, then starts by abhyasa, by practice, and by learning the scriptures and practicing them. He starts learning of his divinity. And then there comes a stage when he is always conscious of that divinity. Therefore, yoga is a wonderful thing. But also, that wonderfulness itself, be it surprise or be it sometimes a shock. Bewilderment can be a shock and the shock is a great place to do your yoga. So this picture shows that even if there is a fire all around us, we should be able to let the cool water permeate downwards onto the Shivalinga, which is our transcendent self, and therefore we should be able to come out of any such situation. I hope you like the interpretation of this sort of modern art of Shiva, which is a depiction of Kal Bhairava, and which is when the Kal, when the time becomes extremely fiery and fierce, Shiva also transcends into his fine form of Kal Bhairava, the one who can change even time itself. Om Nama Shivaya.